Dear Motherland, today I write you a letter, a very sad letter. A sad letter because today I stand in the land of my forefathers, DRC, formerly known as Zairu. If I remember well, we the Bantus migrated from here, so I refer it to as my motherland. As I stand in this land, I am saddened because I am reminded of the sacrifice my ancestors had to endure for us to be where we are today. I'm saddened because I possibly could be standing in my forefathers' ancestral roots. Well, I kind of look like someone from Goma, they say. I'm saddened because today, as I stand in DRC, I stand as a foreigner. Sad. Today, I speak as a Kenyan. Today, I'm called a Kenyan. Today, I am called a foreigner. So today, I write a sad letter simply because I know all my titles, all my rights of this land are taken away. As I write to you, I am saddened because I am so near yet so far from my motherland. As I speak, I am shunned away, or people think I hold myself with high regard simply because I speak English and my motherland speaks French. Blame it on the uh, uh, colonizers. As I speak, I speak a different language simply because my roots are taken. So as I write to you, dear Africa, I am saddened because this had to be. To my brothers and my sisters, just to echo what Malema says, I pray we have a united Africa. Today I write because I look to a moment where we will be a united state of Africa. It is not our fault that we are in this state. As I write this, I, I am much aware of our differences. I am much aware of our economic differences. I am much aware of the language barrier. But even as we are as different as we are, we are as united as we are as you may want to think. So I write this because I believe and I pray and I hope for one day when we have a united state of Africa. I write with hopes that one day we'll be as united as we were or maybe halfway there. I have an idea. Since we were colonized by so many people, we have no idea, from the Belgium to the Brits, most East African people were colonized by Brits, to Portugal and all that. Can we adopt one language? My suggestion, Swahili. My hope is that we carry on the legacy, the struggles that we had, the pain our forefathers had to endure for us to be where we are right now it should not go in vain so i stand here today writing this sad letter hoping that you get it gains an audience that we need to be united i am as african as you are i may speak differently but i bleed as you it's my hope that one day we africans we realize the divide and conquer that was used so today I stand as a different nationality in my mother's in my motherland, saddened by this. And I pray and I hope that one day we'll be reunited again. So I send it out there and I say, Viva Africa.